for some, the scars of January 6th may never heal, but it's the impacts of that day that continue to loom over both elections across the United States and also election integrity. Of the thousands of people that mobbed the Capitol three years ago, more than 1,200 have been charged, more than 170 convicted, all being seen as political martyrs for some in the Republican Party. The former president has often said that those who took part are actually being treated unconstitutionally, while some presidential candidates, including Ron DeSantis, have said that the attack itself was a protest that, quote, got out of hand and something that's been politicized by the left. It's propaganda that's feeding into an embraced narrative. One poll suggests that a quarter of Americans think that the attack was a law enforcement setup, while a second poll suggests that one in 10 Americans think political violence is justified now or will be in the future. I think we have to take really seriously the idea that this, this might not have been a one-time event. It was among the worst derelictions of duty by a president in American history. U.S. President Joe Biden intends to make the riots a central pillar in his campaign, arguing that Trump is an existential threat to America, with the courts now set to decide if the actions or inactions taken on January 6th by Donald Trump could result in him being ineligible to run. The underlying substantive questions, first of all, was January 6th uh, an insurrection? And then secondly, whether former President Trump engaged in that insurrection. January 6th remains one attack with two interpretations, but it's the level of doubt that's been ingrained with so many Americans that's raising warning signs. Reggie Chikini, Global News, Washington.